Drink lots of Diet Mountain Dew, uh, which is always a good thing. Caffeine, caffeine. Welcome to Work Smart. I'm Amber Mack. On today's episode, we talk to the best selling author of The Mirror Test, Jeffrey Hazlett, about how he manages his busy consulting, speaking, and writing career. But before we talk to the self proclaimed cowboy, here's a new tool that could help you manage your email load. Gmail users with overstuffed inboxes will appreciate a new project from Georgia Tech School of Interactive Computing called Curtisly. The idea behind Curtisly is that it analyzes your current email patterns, including sent and unread messages, and offers up a link that you can include in your signature so that you can notify your friends and colleagues about your current email load. If a sender recognizes you're having a busy day, the hope is that their expectations for an answer from you will change. Then again, this may be too much information, and just how courteous is it? Jeffrey Hazlett is an entrepreneur and the best-selling author of The Mirror Test. I caught up with him on Skype before he boarded a plane to yet another speaking event, and it got me wondering, how does he manage his busy life? Well, I've always been pretty organized, but I have a great team, and that's the most important thing. One of the things I know is I've got to have a great executive assistant who kind of takes care of certain things, and I compartmentalize very well, and so I get down to business very quickly, and I think that's important for people, and I'm a real big list taker. Once I write it down, you know, I know I'm going to do it. What about those periods when you're getting a little bit tired and you're feeling run down? Is there anything that you do to kind of keep yourself motivated and just keep pushing forward? Drink lots of Diet Mountain Dew, uh, which is always a good thing. Caffeine, caffeine. You know, I, you know, I take the time to, to recharge my batteries. I think getting out and doing some physical work is a good thing, too. I'm, as you say, a big guy, so I like to get out and do things. I'm a big avid hunter, very uh, much an outdoorsman. I don't get to do that in my apartment in New York. This week I'm in South Dakota, so I get to see my horses and see my family. I get a chance to get out on the prairie and out on the range and, and, and ride a little bit, and that clears my head and gives me a chance to just to, to, to recharge. What are some businesses that you look to for inspiration to kind of keep innovating and keep coming up with great ideas? You know, they're mostly small businesses. I love large businesses. Obviously, everybody would list Apple and list all these other great companies that are doing some great jobs. But I like a lot of the smaller companies, the new startups, because those are the ones that give me the energy because they're really just doing some innovative things and trying hard and doing things with less resources. You've been a member of Twitter since uh, 2008. How do these social media tools fit into both your personal life and your professional life? I, I joined Twitter to stay in touch with my family, so my family knew where I was at. My daughter, my son, my other members of my family would say, well, where are you today? And I said, well, follow me on Twitter, and I'll, and I'll start tweeting. And then I happened to grow my family, and I grew my Kodak family, and they started following me. And then all these you know, tens of thousands of marketing uh, professionals now follow me, and maybe a couple cowboys and some crazy people every once in a while. I just really just try to write about my life. This is what I'm doing, and, and then maybe a gym or two. You know, you see some great, great motivational stories every day and I like to try to share those too. When you're running out of steam at work, what do you do to keep pushing ahead? Gilberto is a fan of power naps. Jennifer likes to head out for a quick walk. And Martin does a little hydrating and posing. That's all for today's show. As always, you can see past episodes at fastcompany.com slash worksmart. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. <laughs>